Harry's Wine and Liquor is renowned for their weekly wine tastings. To celebrate Memorial Day weekend, they had a special wine tasting class to promote their extensive collection of rosé, hosted by the wine tutor Len Galino and Harry's own William Miller. BizBuzz TV listened in on the two wine experts as they discussed rosé with Rachel Constantine, a local Fairfield resident. Good to see you. Mm, happy oh, Memorial so Day. So Wolfer Estate, you know that. Now you were with William here last year, weren't you? Yes, we Wolfer Estate? I think he's going back there this year. Oh, here he is. All right, Len. You want to taste it? You want to taste some wine today? Sure, certainly. So people are loving this Wolfer. Wolfer, oh, this was a great wine Salute. last year. Salute. Salute. Cheers. It's the summer. It's here. Yeah, we had a beautiful time at Wolfer Estate, a lovely property in the South Fork of Long Island. So you'll be heading back again, right? Well, we hope to get another trip down there. It was a beautiful, oh. perfect day. And, it was fun. Uh, great for somebody if they want to go down there for a day trip. Well, this has great structure. I love this rosé. Yeah. It's been popular all day today, too. Well, this has been fun, William, telling people about the Bradjolina wine. Yes. The uh, combination of Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, making wine from their grapes in uh, Provence. Yeah, did so, you weren't familiar with this today, were no. you? No. Oh, well, here, try some of this, Rachel. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a blend of three or four Thank Provencal you. red grapes made by a professional French winemaker. And it's got big, great structure mm. to it, great yeah. acidity. Delicious balance. red fruit flavors from that Grenache in there, Sanso. What they did beautifully was to be able to hire uh, some of the best people in the business. Uh, they teamed with the Perrin family of Chateau de Beaucastel, uh, and they're in charge of all the winemaking production. Everything at the vineyard site, everything to do with the wines, so you're getting the top quality producer that is behind everything from start to finish. And that's good to and know that's because... that's why you're getting really the quality in this wine. Because some of us thought that it was just a gimmick until we tasted the wine. And we said, wow, real stuff. So we've been to Long Island. Been to Provence, now we're going to go to Spain, Rioja, Spain. So this is made from the great Tempranillo grape of Spain. And again, by taking the skins out really quick, of course, it doesn't pick up a lot of the red color. But you get the body. Many Spanish rosés are intentionally made fuller bodied, richer style. Um, that's how the Spanish like to make their rosés. Uh, you go throughout the bars in Spain, I remember when I was in the Basque country in San Sebastian, one of the most beautiful areas in Spain for wine and food. Great food culture. Town. Great food. And town. you go through the bars in the, in the old city in San Sebastian and just everybody drinking rosé. So Ponzi Vineyards is a, a great vineyard from uh, Oregon and we're going to have the Pinot Noir rosé. And this has been, along with Wolfert, one of the uh, more popular grapes of the day. One thing, it's got a bigger color, riper, richer flavor. So William, you were telling me that the winemaker actually from Ponzi was here. Yes, right? Luisa Ponzi was here the other day. Ah, Luisa lovely. Ponzi. Nice to yep. be able to autograph some of the bottles for us. Beautiful Pinot Noir fruit uh, yep. out of Willamette Valley. And, you know, really one of our favorite yeah, rosés every summertime. This is a much that. fuller flavor, I think, the last one. Yes. Yes. The this is the biggest, richest more structure, and more richness from the Pinot Noir grape than you got from the Tempranillo and the Grenache grapes. Yeah. Beautifully done. Here at Harry's, we're big fans of rosé and really want to show people how wonderful rosé is all year long. How many different rosés do you have here? Now? There are over 125 different rosés. Well, plus you have it all year long. That's yes. one problem. A lot of places, they stop carrying it after the summer. And you'll be popping many corks at your Memorial Day picnic. <laughs> That's <tomorrow>. right. <laughs> Good to see you again, Rachel. There's, there's the rosé in summertime. <laughs> Cheers, all. At Harry's, they don't just sell you a bottle of wine. They teach you the story behind it.